What does Tyson Fury have to do to beat Alexander Usyk? But before we get started, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share. If you wish to donate to the platform, the cash app is dollar sign jrus33. Thanks to everybody that so far contributed to the platform. Appreciate you. What does Tyson Fury have to do to win this rematch with Alexander Usyk? Well, first of all, the good thing is I believe he's staying in shape. I don't think he got out of shape in between fights. I think he likes the way he looked. And he was fighting a good fight up until the round where he was getting beat from pillar to post. And that's the thing that Usyk seems to do to every opponent. They might start out strong like Daniel Dubois, even Anthony Joshua in the rematch. But at some point, they seem to get sucked into fighting Alexander Usyk's fight. And then it's all downhill from there. So what Tyson Fury has to do, the first thing is he has to come in fit, which I believe he will. And he's going to have to just keep fighting his fight. He's going to have to throw fight, uh, throw shots that are like at weird times and weird angles. Like you have to throw Usyk's rhythm off if you can. You definitely have to go to the body, which he talked about, what uh, Fury talked about AJ needed to do in the rematch. <laughs> so... He's got to go to the body. He landed a lot of uppercuts. Uh, one of those or a couple of those seem to hurt Usyk and really bother him. So he's got to go to the body. He's got to make sure that he doesn't get sucked into that Usyk, you know, just, you know, because Usyk stalks you. And, it, and it's kind of strange because you would think the bigger guy would be stalking the smaller guy, but Usyk was stalking him. And I think that just wore Fury out. I think that's what happened to Tony Bellew when they fought you just get tired of that. So Fury has to find a way to fight his fight. And you still adapt, though. You still have to adapt in the course of a fight. But he has to fight his fight and not get sucked into Usyk's rhythm. Got to go to the body. Make sure he doesn't get tired. If he does, do the clinch go. Hold. One, two, hold if you have to. And, you know, look to win a decision because I don't think uh, Fury or anybody's knocking out Usyk. I just don't see it happening. The dude's got a great chin. And he's got a great mind. I know a lot of people say you can train the body, but you can't train the chin. That's not exactly true. You can train the chin, the mind. The mind is what keeps you up when you get hurt. So you can train the chin, not with weights necessarily, but with the mind. And Usyk and Lomachenko do all types of mental exercises to strengthen their mind. And that's why nobody stopped them. That's one of the reasons. But Fury can win this fight. If he does the things that I think are his strong points, he's got the reach. He probably punches harder, even though Usyk almost had him out of there. You just have to catch Usyk. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but you have to kind of throw punches. Boxing is all about rhythm. You kind of got to throw a punch that's off rhythm, almost like amateurish type of stuff to just throw him off. That's what... um. Vitaly Klitschko was so good at, especially against Lennox Lewis. He would throw shots at weird times and angles, and it was throwing Lennox Lewis off. So it's always harder to fight a guy that's untrained than a guy that's trained because the untrained guy is going to throw weird shots at weird angles, and that's kind of what Fury has to do to discombobulate Usyk. So I believe Fury can win this fight. I don't think he's going to. But I think he can if he sticks to that. It's hard to keep up such a strong pace, though, with a fighter like Alexander Usyk for 12 rounds. That's that's easier said than done, as many fighters have found out. I mean, this guy's beaten AJ twice, Fury, Witherspoon, not Tim, Daniel Dubois, um, Chisora. I mean, this dude's beaten the toughest guys, the biggest guys. So... You know, and plus now Usyk has in his mind that, okay, I already beat this guy. And that always gives you an edge. Like if I did it before, I can do it again. And that's also in Fury's head that I lost to this guy and I probably can lose again. So he has to somehow try to throw that out, you know, use, use his mental exercises. Got to pray. Both guys can pray, pray to Yah, pray to Yeshua and um, take it from there. But I'm looking forward to this fight, and I think it might be even more explosive 
than the first fight, and we got a good first fight. I don't really think there'll be a stoppage. Um, somebody might go down. Somebody might go down in this fight, but uh, I think it's going to go the distance. I'm curious to know in the comments what you guys think that Fury has to do to, to win this fight, and what do you think that Usyk has to do to win this fight? Anyway, it's the J. Roos Theory. Like I said earlier, make sure to comment, share, subscribe. And if you wish to donate, like I said, to the platform, it's dollar sign J. Roos 33, LSR forever. And be fearless. Yay.